Okay, we are here at IC Bahamas in Nassau. On my left is Sharice. What's your last name? Deshpande. Deshpande. I don't know how to spell that. We can make it Smith. Smith is easier. And Steve Maine, but you don't spell it like Maine. Two amazing tennis players. And Sharice is going to talk about the transitional forehand from the old con conventional linear to somewhat modern, maybe not Nadal-like, but similar. So talk, tell me about the secrets you just showed me, which really helped me a lot, Therese. The, the key things for uh, you know transitioning to this uh, modern forehand is first thing is a grip. Even if it's a slight change, you have to move it a little bit over to eastern forehand, even if you you know cannot move to the semi-western. But um, again, uh, another thing um, to uh, remember is think that you're pointing the fingers to the sky and then hold the racket, and that keeps your racket up higher which will help you drop it down and come, come under the ball and then you accelerate the racket it going to the follow through position but another thing to remember is catching the ball early it has to be in front for you to have success on and that so point. how do you hit it early catching it earlier is preparation once you prepare the air with your shoulder turn you make sure either the right foot or left foot doesn't matter but you have to make sure you're hitting on the rise out in front you let it catch if you catch it later it's going to be a lot harder and with the continental grip that's what usually happens a lot yeah. of times when you try to hit a top spin with it you end up hitting it late but with this grip you should be able to catch that ball out in front think Excellent. that you're blocking something out in front and then follow through okay now now steve's forehand you're more of the the more western grip yeah, kind of steve i hit more of the traditional western grip which you see a lot of these younger players hitting a lot of whip a lot of top spin and you know, I think the whole key to that is kind of the same thing that Sharice was pointing out to, is making sure you take that ball a little bit early and a little bit out in front because it's all about your timing. And, and one of the things I see as a real common problem in like the rec player is if they're having trouble with their timing, they just keep trying to do the same thing. Slow your, get your, get your backswing, you know, condense it a little bit, maybe consolidate it a little bit. That will help get your timing back on track. Excellent. So. Okay, what we're going to do now, I'm just going to film a minute of you. So, Steve, you get on the other side. You're going to hit with Sharice, and I'm going to film both of you. And you all will notice two different forehands, very, very acceptable results, but totally different, really. And here's Sharice hitting his forehands. Notice how head, his head still, and, sh and that finish. Where are you trying to finish to, Sharice? Right there. Elbows to the ear. Elbows to the ear. Excellent. Good timing by Sharice. Okay. Now here's Steve Main. Completely a little different, more open stance, a little whippier, more racket head speed, kind of a Western grip, but it works, and he's got a beautiful two-hander. Beautiful, Steve. You, you have a bigger finish than Sharice, I think. Excellent. Notice low to high. How many balls are in the net? No balls are in the net. Every ball low to high. Excellent. 